Okay, this is the fourth time that I'm recording this. Can we just talk about the frustration? The frustrations! Okay, so this is impromptu, which is why I'm not coming here on here with an intro. I, I feel like I should. The professional in me wants to come on here with an intro, but the impromptu chick in me wants to come on here real live, raw, and gritty. Giving it to you, serving it to you, just like this. So, it is a Wednesday night. It's 7.09 p.m. And I wanted to come on here and tell y'all, I have been dreaming about telling y'all this all day, but I just decided to do it today because I stepped out of my laziness and decided to be productive and tell y'all, I am doing a no heat challenge. I feel like there should be an audience in the background snapping, clapping, all types of things, whistling, but we don't have those effects because I'm impromptu for you. And... I am doing a no heat challenge all for the month of February because, honey, I've been inspired. I have been inspired. I've been inspired because I've been watching a lot of hair journeys and I, this is possible for me. This is possible for me. I can grow waist length hair. I believe it. I believe it and I receive it. It's going to manifest. And I even did my affirmations for it. So I decided that I need to treat my hair like fine silk. Shout out to Efficiently Natural. I believe that's her name. I've been taking some tips from her. And I just discovered her. And she has really reaffirmed for me that I can grow the hair that I dream of. And I want to tell you all that I think I may have been a little too hard on myself for the month of for for the, all of last year after after revealing how much hair that I grew for to after I completed my no heat challenge my one year no heat challenge in 2016 leading up till now I was very discouraged and I was unsatisfied but I think that I was a little too hard on myself. I didn't give myself enough credit because we're talking about a whole year here. A whole year. I have not in, in the past, even though my hair is not completely familiar with lots of amounts of heat because I don't consistently put heat on my hair um, in previous years um, prior to 2016, I still put heat on my hair. This has been 2016 was the was the year that I was I said no, absolutely no heat. And I stuck to that outside of deep conditioning my hair underneath a dryer. I stuck to no heat. And I'm just very proud of myself because even though I thought I didn't reach my length goal, I reached my hair goal of no heat for a whole entire year. And I'm proud of myself. So I had to really sit back and think to myself, okay, Felicia, you did this. Like you actually accomplished a goal. So don't be so hard on yourself. Secondly, I straightened my hair again. And I actually did see that I um, did actually attain or retain a lot of length. So I started 2015. I had got a fresh trim. I started to, and I think I was led to believe that my hair was a lot longer than what it was previous uh, years before that, but I wasn't. My hair was, sh all, my hair was about shoulder length. So my hair was right at shoulder length. And in 2015, I, I grew it out a little past shoulder length. And so I was under the impression that I didn't grow my hair much longer than that. But I was really just at shoulder length that whole time. I just didn't want to accept it, I guess. So in 2015 or 2016, at the beginning of 2016, I got a fresh trim and the sides of my hair came to like, like right about here. It was very short, was very thin. It was very see-through. Um, and then in my, the back of my hair, cause my back is always seems to be a little bit longer. My, the back of my hair came just about here, maybe about here, maybe, which I call a, sh a shoulder length. That's shoulder length. So, um, now I am right here just about if not then like right there 
Um, yeah, so about right here. But for me, what I want to be is so, okay, and so I'm, I have a long torso and my bra sits lower on my back than most people because I know I look at a lot of, um, I guess, length checks for people and what I wouldn't call armpit length or what I wouldn't call bra strap length, other people will. And sometimes I think it's like according to where they think their bra sits. But for, and also they'll just claim it even if the back of their hair reaches there, but like the sides will kind of be like nowhere near there. For me, it has to, I know that my back grows longer than, grows faster and longer than the sides, but I at least need to have like a, some type of balance. Like it can't be completely far off where the sides are up here and then the back is like down here and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm bra strap length. That's not, mm -mm. I need to typically be there all around or closer to it. So I would say that I'm a little bit above grazing bra strap length. It's so hard with this, these lengths. That's why I just want to call it when like it's actually there. So um, I'm hoping that, no, nah, I'm not hoping. I'm going to get there. So by April, I want to at least fully be here where I can call it. Um, but then... July, I want to be exactly bra strap length. So I should be about right here. About right here by April, by July. Okay. So then by the end of the year, I want to be mid back length, which is right below the bra strap. Like, right. I want to be like underneath the bra strap. So I'm, I want to be like here, underneath here by, um, so right here by December, the end of December. So those are my hair goals for 2016. I I probably will do like a a formal video, I guess you can say. I'll do more of a formal video, but this one's very laid back and casual. So I'll update you guys with that. But yeah, I'm really excited about this year and my hair goals and what I want to do because I think I'm going to, for March, I'm going to do box braids. And for February, my best friend is supposed to be coming here and we will possibly be going out on the town. And so I'll probably, un if she comes, if she decides, if she comes, I'll unravel my hair and wear a braid out. If she doesn't come or a twist out, if she doesn't come, then I'll keep my hair like this. But this is what my hair looks like right now. And I'm, I'm really pleased because I feel like these are wearable and, um... I have a little hang time with the pigtails. I mean, they're not super long. I mean, ideally, I would like my pigtails to be like down here. But they're wearable and I don't feel awkward wearing these. Whereas before, I felt awkward. So I do find the benefit in stretching my hair. Now, my hair is heat stretched because I did straighten my hair. And um, I did find that it was just a little bit difficult to keep the ends from unraveling. So I would like to not have my hair like bone. Well, this isn't bone straight, but I would not like, I would have like to have more texture in my hair. So maybe instead of straightening my hair with a flat iron, maybe I would just blow dry it. Also, I've been, I would like to not put as much heat on my hair when I do this again. So I think what I'll do is Bantu knot it out because I've had a lot of success with that. And after watching Efficiently Natural, I really liked her tips on air drying the hair um, and then styling it just because that helps to retain the length. And then also it cuts down on the, the single strand knots. She has some really good tips. So if you guys get a chance, please go check out her channel. I, I do believe it's a, it's efficiently efficiently natural or efficient natural or something like that. So yeah, that's that. Um, so, okay. So, cause I'm all over the place, but heat. Okay. So going heatless for February, I do, I did heat style my hair. So I do have some videos coming that were pre-filmed in January that I'm going to be pushing out to the channel in in February, but they were pre-filmed in January. They just need to be edited and they will be on my channel in February. March, I'm going to 
I'm not going to flat iron it, my hair or anything, but I will either bantu knot it and sit underneath a dryer or I will air dry my hair and then I will put box braids in my hair for the month of March. And I think I will style my hair once in March, um, like maybe a twist and curl because I have some products that were sent to me that I need to be, that I need to test out and try. So I have a lot of stuff that uh coming in March, but for February, low maintenance honey, I'm doing this. And um so yeah, I, this is my third time doing this. So I'm just trying to make sure I I'm saying everything I wanted to say. But I really just wanted to let you guys know that I think that I understand the art of manipulation and stretching the hair now, and so I'm going to incorporate those practices into my journey for this year and I think that I should be able to retain the length that I want so yeah I'm I'm like really happy because I felt like there was a disconnect and I couldn't strike a balance between the 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 art of manipulation and the art of yeah the art of manipulation and no heat and moisturizing, I like I couldn't strike the balance between that. The yeah, I couldn't. I was not able to strike the balance between um, retaining moisture and manipulation and low manipulation. But I got it. If I will just more, if I will keep my hair stretched, I should be able to maintain moisture more, which means I wouldn't manipulate my hair as much. And I've already seen a difference in less breakage with how straight my hair is now. So definitely heat stretching is going to work for my hair type because my hair type is tightly coiled and I need, for me, I have to have my hair stretched. Uh, also, I've been working with a new um, homemade conditioner that I made. So in here I have water, olive oil, which I'm finding that I think I might like olive oil better than coconut oil. Uh, yeah, so olive oil water and a little bit of the hello hydration by herbal essence and this works wonders so i'm really loving the olive oil and i'll just spritz the end so i'm going to be misting my ends every day but i'm not going to wash my hair this whole month i'm not doing anything um i might massage it oh that feels good oh i got to get these edges girl but i'll massage the edges i'll spritz the ends but i'm not washing my hair I'm not, yeah, I'm not washing my hair this whole month and I don't care. And March, I will, uh, I have a new washing regimen anyways. So I'll update you guys with that. That video is coming up soon. So yeah, I have a lot of videos coming up for you guys. But I do have a video coming up on Saturday because it's Valentine's Day, Bay Day. Hello, I gotta have a video up for that. It's my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. I've never done a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial before, so I'm really excited to get that up and going. And then also, I, I'm i gonna be doing these when I'm unable to get a video up. So if it's not, if it's all, it'll be impromptu, but maybe it'll be a, a product that I want to talk about or something like that. Just because I need to make sure I'm consistent on this channel. And this is a feature that is offered. So why not take advantage of it? I thought I was going to be live, but apparently not. Oh my God, I'm at 1348 seconds. 13 minutes and 40. No. Okay, this is too long winded. I'm, I'm signing off. I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm going heatless for February. If you guys want to join me, then join me. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, bye. I don't know where to look because I feel like I don't, like, where Where do I look? Where do I, where, where do I look? Where am I looking? Bye.